good afternoon, everybody. It is Camp and Randy of the Ridge Store coming out to you today to let you know about all the social media you've seen about the five inch lift kit on my Ridge Line. So I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to show some pictures up here for you guys and get you all up to date on this five inch lift. Let's start at the beginning. Manny, Nat Pro, over there on the West Coast. Myself and him, well, just me, I guess. I don't know, maybe him as well. He's been doing some great stuff out there. Link down in the description. Follow him on social media. He keeps lifting. He keeps flexing. And I'm like, Ben, at HRG Off-Road, I'm like, we need to make a five-inch lift kit. Second. So... Reached out the flat out suspension. We sell that on the Ridge Store. Ordered a set of GR Plus back in November, Thanksgiving. Big Black Friday sale. A bunch of my other customers ordered some as well. And it was huge, great. Took a long time to get everything, but we finally got it all. So what's awesome, and I told Ben over at HRG Off-Road, I was like, let's do a two-inch subframe drop. Let's keep the two-and-a-half-inch pucks on the top. And then the GR Plus will give us another two inches. And then we're gonna go with 32 inch uh, tires. So I went with the 275, 60, 18s, I think it's 65, 18s, which gives us a 32.1. Now, I was told we couldn't do a two inch subframe drop, but we can. Uh, there was one, there's a couple things. One is the top there's a wire harness over on the passenger side very top in the front we had to unclip that to loosen it the air box will you'll have to loosen both box both both bolts on the air box to let it tilt and sit and sit with the uh, engine you're not going to be able to use the prl uh, intake from the uh, filter to the intake manifold it just doesn't flex enough so i had to take that off uh, that's actually for sale if anybody wants it so hit me up uh, Randy at camp and Randy.com if you want that so those are the only two things the drive shaft or the uh, sorry the steering shaft actually has a column inside of a cylinder so when you loosen that bottom bolt at the knuckle it actually drops down and extends it the back of the truck fine so the two inch subframe drop is good I did have a little bit of exhaust touch to it and um, what I did is I just bent one of the brackets. So once I bent the bracket at the very back, it gave me room. So HRG Off-Road is going to include uh, that drop for the exhaust, as well as the drop for the uh, carrier bearings. So we're going to do a one inch with that. Now, NOLO Designs, if you have their catalytic converter skid plate, it is going to... Um, not work okay so my catalytic converter is actually touching the uh, skid plate so that's all your subframe stuff we'll tweak it a little bit but I wanted to get this video out to folks to let you know that we can do this okay so we ended up putting on the uh, GR plus from flat out suspension and what that's gonna end up doing for you is, is coilovers so uh, we have the front all the way up and it's running beautiful. The front of the, the ridge line is tuned perfectly. However, in the back, I don't have it extended enough, the coilovers on the threads. I don't have I don't have it extended enough. I want to extend it a little bit more because I think I'm bottoming out with the shocks. I've been talking with flat out um, over the last week and stuff like that. So we're working on that. And I was talking to Ben at HR off HRG off road this morning. And he was talking about, um, I was letting him know I might take that top puck off at the top. And he doesn't think that's going to work. But I'm like, let, let's first, I need, I need to extend the shock in the back so that I make sure I got enough travel. But he's thinking we don't have enough uh, spring rate travel on there. The, he thinks the spring is collapsing and hitting that. So, like I said, I, myself, I'm doing testing on it. HRG, I'm working close with them. Flat out suspension, I'm working close with them. And just realize, all of these folks are very, very busy filling orders and stuff. And I'm trying to help with post sales. So if you have any questions on HRG off-road lift kits, 
or flat out suspensions, reach out to me directly um, because it's going to take both of those other folks a little bit of time to get back with you. So if you need an answer immediately, you know, you uh, go to the ridgestore.com on the very top is our phone number. You can call, you can text, hit us up on social media, Camp and Randy. You can also do uh, the Ridge Store on Instagram. So I'll, I'll, I'll add, I answer all those questions. Okay. So the tires. So we went with 32 inch tires. I was going to do the tracks to axle relocators. I bought those. And when I got those, there's no video, there's no how to on the axle relocators. So what I found out I had to do was cut my old back bushings, the bushings that are towards the firewall, cut them, pull them out and then push them in. And the shops I was dealing with, it was just too much of a bother. So I'm not doing the axle relocating kits. And then I thought I was gonna have all these alignment issues and everything, so I'm not doing that. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the firewall. Now that's part of the ACE body structure that's taking care of your cage for your safety. However, we're cutting it and we're restructuring it and, and bringing it back. Now, if you go and you look at the firewall on the new um, 2023 uh, Honda Pilot Trail Sport, you're gonna see that um, that bump is not there anymore. So they've re-engineered that, reconstructed, so there was no issues with that. So, but that's what we're going to do with the ridge line. So, um, I towed the camper this weekend with it, did great. Um, there's no bumps, bangs, anything like that. Like I said, I'm just still tuning the back. I'm also actually going to soften the back. Um, flat out suspension recommends that the front do all the way soft. And then in the rear, we're going to do a uh, five. There's 20 settings, um, on the adjustable, uh, struts, shocks, whatever you want to call them. And um, so what we're going to do is I might dial that back to maybe three. I'm going to go in half and then I'll fine tune it from there. So I just wanted to get this quick video out just to let you guys know that it's still a work in progress. We cannot release everything yet for sale because what we're going to do is a setup where you're going to buy the HRG parts and then you're going to buy the flat out suspension. We're going to make it a whole uh, package. And then you guys can get your five inch uh, drop. I've been trying to get a hold of Nitto. I've been working with Andy uh, Carter over there at driving, uh, driving.com. And um, there it's just falling on deaf ears. So I had to pay full price for my uh, tires. I was trying to get you know, a little sponsorship from them. But uh, yeah, it's just like everything else. The Honda, everything Honda just falls on deaf ears. If you're not a Jeep or a Toyota or a Land Rover or a Cruiser, whatever you call them things. You're just, you know, kicked to the curb. And that's why we do what we do so that we can take our Hondas and, you know, have fun with them. One second. Oh, by the way, you guys got to check this weird beer out. It's called Shells on Shells on Shells. And it's New Belgium and another brewery I can't pronounce. But I don't know if you can see this or not. It literally says made with honey and oyster shells so they seriously threw oyster shells in here there's no fishy taste i just taste honey and uh delicious goodness so that's your beer for the day from uh camp and randy so uh enjoy went up to Asheville this week and had a great time uh it was in 20 degrees didn't have any exterior water uh hooked up however didn't know that the poop shoots freeze so that was fun. Had to sit there for about an hour uh, with a heater under the camper to uh, defrost the, 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 the uh, black tank valve. So that was great. Uh, other than that, we're just keep tuning in the ridgeline, getting that five inch lift going. Um, we are testing some stuff with Nolo Design and Manning um, over there at NART Pro with the Trail Sport 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport uh, front sway bar. Um, it gives you more flex. So uh, we're doing a lot of different things. Also on the store is the, your uh, negative ground jump bracket. That's on the store as well. I ordered the parts directly from Honda. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but when you open up the hood on the 2023 Honda Pilot, on the driver's side, what a lot of us have been doing for years is put a little bolt in there so you have a negative ground. Well, that is actually factory installed now. So I have the bolt and I have the little clear paint saver uh, sticker that goes on there. So if you want to order it, 
Also, something else new on the store, which is selling like gangbusters, is your center console charging organizer, something, something, something. And what it does is it's a little 3D extended piece that goes into the Ridgeline Pilot Passport or Odyssey on your center roll-up. And it's just a gap with some slits in it that you can have your phone cord come out and it looks factory. It's amazing. You guys got to check it out. So um, that's it. That's all the updates right now. Idle Stopper still doing great. Smart VCM's doing great. Got tons of OEM Honda products on the site. Tons of camping stuff. You guys check that out as well. Um, I'm in the finalist for, uh, it's called Startup Greenville. It's an entrepreneurship uh, award banquet. So uh, we're really excited about that. I'm going to start posting on that. So I had an interview today. I'm in the top five finalists. Um, for for this giveaway so i'm pretty excited and proud of it also the customer google map is updated um, i'll put a link down in the description for that it is amazing to see where everybody's from all the zip codes i don't have any names on it it's just zip codes and cities um, so so check that out and i think that's pretty much it i just wanted to give a quick video for everybody who keeps asking about uh the the lift how it's going it's it's a work in progress guys just like anything else so we're getting that set and all good for you i'm hoping to have it released uh mid next month i just need to drive on it i mean i'm looking out the window now at it it, it looks amazing uh we had rigs and coffee this weekend and uh you know all my toyota and, and jeep guys were out there and they just come up and they're just like what this thing's a beast so uh it, it's pretty sick it's pretty sick so uh we're gonna uh, re-engineer the firewall we're going to refab that and get that set so we can turn the tires right right now i can't turn the tires all the way because we got we got we have some rubbing so remember 30 and a half inches is all we can go with the 20 uh 23 and under honda products the except you know the pilot trail sport that, that just came out the new body style i actually saw uh, an exl in person at a concert this weekend talked to the owners they love it. They say it's their best Honda. They're, they're Honda people, and they say it's their best Honda product uh, that they've ever put out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks for shopping with us. 100% from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I never knew, like I said, three years ago that this little venture would, would be so huge and such a help for everybody. So thanks a lot, everybody. Greatly appreciate it. And as always, you know it is. Enjoy the adventures.